The law granting mayoral control over New York City schools is set to expire in June. Now it's up to Albany to decide what happens next and they're grilling local education officials. Well, thank you for keeping it right here. I'm Erin LeBeau. I'm Corey Chambers in for Tamson. Uh, Chancellor David Banks spoke at a state senate hearing today along with the head of the teachers union and the principals union. Uh, the hearing will help the state assembly decide whether to extend mayoral control or send control back to the state. Yeah, PIX 11's Calorama joins us live with the back and forth. Hey, Cala. Hey, this virtual hearing has been going all day. In fact, right now we are in the public hearing part of it where parent leaders are sounding off on what they want to see changed in the New York City school system. They are letting our lawmakers have it, saying they want to be included in the decision making. For the last two decades, New York City schools have been under mayoral control. That control is supposed to expire June 30th. Today's public hearing is to help the New York State Legislature decide the best way to run the nation's largest school system, likely keeping it under mayoral control with some changes, rather than reverting back to Central Board of Education from 20 years ago, according to State Senator John Liu. Parents feel that they have very little, if any, input, and that's one of the key issues here. Whether, whether parents have any way to weigh in with how their kids are being taught in New York City public schools. The mayor joining in from the car, asking for four years to use his experience in school to make changes to a failing school system of dismal literacy, attendance, and graduation rates. Four years to do what I know what needs to be done based on my time as a student, as a law enforcement officer, as a state senator and as above president. This is no time to go back to a broken system. The chancellor grilled on how he plans to improve parent engagement, promising to always be available just a phone call away. Every one of you can have my personal cell. You can reach me. Um, and as you hear great ideas and things that we should be doing, or you're hearing about real concerns in your community, let us know. Chancellor David Banks said mayoral accountability allows more resources to go directly to schools to meet the needs of students. He vaguely listed plans for a virtual academy to start in September with teachers and students solely online, expansion of the gifted and talented program, adding to the number of specialized high schools, and focusing on student wellness. Every school now has the funding to hire a school social worker. A number of public school parents testifying late this afternoon saying families are being left out of the decision making and mayoral control is not the answer. I think it's. And what's been interesting so far in this public hearing is that every lawmaker has said that they want to see mayoral control stay. But so far, every parent leader has said, what? That doesn't make sense. Why would one person make decisions about our schools? So all of these recommendations going forward will help that decision come in late spring. We're live on the Upper West Side. I'm Calorama, PIX11 News.